Happy Friday out there, Team 42. It's your skipper here, Darius Delta, present our Macro Minute for Friday, February 16th, 2024. As always, we'll start with our executive summary from today's leadoff morning note. Um, as always, if you would like the analysis supporting these conclusions, as well as what to specifically do about them in your portfolio, uh, you need to be a client of 42 Macro. So we'll start with today's key macro event, which is, is the Fed even restrictive, bro? Do you even lift, bro? So let's start with the nuance. <laughs> the nuance is the January PPI data uh, came in equally, if not more hot than the January CPI data did on Tuesday. Uh, the upside surprises in inflation data this week lend credence to our view that the easing of financial conditions that has occurred since early November is likely to contribute to uh, resiliency and nominal GDP over the medium term. In terms of the market implications, uh, continued resiliency and nominal GDP is bullish for risk assets like stocks, credit, and crypto, and bearish for defensive assets like G10, sovereign debt, and gold. Factoring in our broader thoughts on U.S. and global liquidity, as well as uh, global economic fundamentals, we remain of the view that there will be plenty of money to be made, long risk assets in the first half of 2024, and pretty of money to be lost uh, in 2H24 in the second half of this year. Uh, refer to our February 2024 macro scouting report for our detailed outlook uh, on those drivers. Uh, forecasting the exact dates of the peaks of various asset classes is a fool's errand. Uh, the better strategy would be to ensure that you have proper risk management systems in place to book gains when the bull run we called for at the start of November ends, regardless of when you decided to participate. Thankfully for Team 42, 42 macro clients, uh, we do have those risk management systems in place. Uh, so transitioning to uh, the 42 macro dashboard, as always, we'll start uh, with the trading range signals uh, from our friends over at Longbow. Not seeing anything uh, particularly actionable today. So we'll wrap it up with a question from our community, uh, which is uh, regarding the Fed, likely that the Fed raises rates. Uh, so with the continued strong performance of the stock market, uh, particularly the tech sector, what's the likelihood that the Fed starts to actually raise rates? Uh, in our opinion, a uh, very low probability outcome. Uh, recall that the Fed stopped raising rates last July when inflation uh, and nominal growth uh, were much higher than they were uh, today. So we'd have to see a significant change in, in nominal uh, economic activity and output uh, to the upside uh, to cause uh, the Fed to actually raise rates. Uh, we think the Fed, the Fed thinks it's it's quite restricted. And if you look at, uh, for example, the real Fed funds rate uh, value is about 2.6% when you uh, deflate the current target rate uh, by a one year forward uh, median inflation expectations from the University of Michigan survey. Uh, we do that because it gives us data uh, back to the uh, late 70s. Uh, when you look at that, that 2.6% value is somewhere around the 68 uh, percentile of readings. So the Fed is somewhat restrictive, but it's not all that restrictive, right? 68 percentile of readings is, is not particularly uh, restrictive, you know, in terms of that longer term time series. Uh, and in fact, that 2.6% value was actually lower uh, than where we trended at in terms of the real Fed funds rate uh, in, the, in the middle of the, the mid 80s and the mid 90s when we had the two soft landings. So, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that uh, could go wrong from an inflation standpoint, and we're expecting it to go wrong. Oh, from a medium term perspective, but that doesn't necessarily mean the asset markets need to price that in. Uh, today, we are still in a uh, risk on market regime, uh, likely transitioning to, uh, you know, from a Goldilocks uh, to uh, another risk on market regime. We talked about that yesterday's up morning note and all the market implications uh, for that from a medium term perspective. So definitely check that out if you have yet uh, to review that. So we'll wrap it up there. Uh, Darius Dell uh, presenting our Macro Minute for Friday, February 16th, 2024. Everyone have a wonderful day out there. Best of luck. Have a great weekend and we'll catch you back here on Monday. Cheers.